have a large collection of papers and publications collected by the Communist Party activist Fred Westacott, who was born in 1916 and died in 2001. He was prominent in the Communist Party in the East Midlands. He was particularly well known in Mansfield, where he stood in four general elections between 1966 and 1974, and in Chesterfield, where he was instrumental in setting up the annual May Day People's Gala. In his autobiography, Shaking the Chains, Fred described election campaigning as among the most satisfying and stimulating experiences as a political activist. Here we have a scrapbook kept by Fred commemorating the general election in Mansfield in 1970. This is Fred um, standing in Mansfield just after the result was announced. The winning candidate, John Concannon for Labour, polled over 30,000 votes. C.W.H. Morton for the Conservatives, 15,027 votes and Fred got 628. In order to get those 628 votes, um, he took part in an enormous amount of political campaigning. Earlier on in the scrapbook, he has preserved a copy of the Mansfield Election News. This was um, a homemade publication by Fred Westacott and his agent, Ida Hackett. Um, it was created with stencils and typing um, and produced on a home-based duplicating machine. It gives a really good idea of the amount of activity that went on and how enthusiastic local party members were to get their ideas across. It advertises a march through Mansfield, a mass canvas. And then there's more on the other side. It says here, our committee rooms were the former health offices. We keep getting people calling for smallpox inoculations, etc. But we've won three votes from visitors so far. We have a photograph of Mansfield Communist Party activists outside their headquarters. It's here. This photograph comes from February 1974. So these are the communist rooms in Mansfield. They've now been demolished and there are the, um, the party members holding their placards. And these photographs show their activities outside Mansfield Town Hall in February 1974. The election bulletin at that time recalled how they had invaded the marketplace in the morning and afternoon and took over the front of the town hall. And Fred Westacott made speeches. Loyalty to political parties was deeply rooted and Westacott found it hard to convert people's personal liking for Communist Party candidates and agreement with some of their policies into votes. The first past the post electoral system also encouraged some electors to see a vote for Westacott in a Labour stronghold as a wasted vote. But Westacott did not see his campaigns as wasted in any way. He loved getting his points across. <laughs>